in this video we will cover the split function so we will be using this uh, the some of the uh, functions from this video for the split functions in our repeating table so first is the split suppose you have a comma separated uh, text on this format 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 now the function split will split this 1 2 3 4 separated by comma this comma specified specifies what is the uh, separator delimiter so this is comma so we have one two three commas here so we are we are telling this code to split one comma two comma three comma four and these are separated by comma and put it in the array remember that split function will return an array so first we will run this piece of code we'll put a button and on click of this button we will put this code so at this moment this is hard coded 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 is a hard coded string so we'll uh, use we are only testing the split function so let's run it when I click the button we are not displaying anything so we'll go and check what is in the uh, variable ARR splitted ARR means array splitted so view variables here and then click on the table one two three four suppose if I change and add here one more element five now if I run this and click here we can check and see what is in our variables one two three four five so split is a function which will split the uh, delimiter separated values and return an array suppose we want to return we want to take the text from a text input and do the same thing instead of hard coding we'll put a text here a text input here text input one on the click of the button so i will instead of splitting hard coded value will split whatever is inserted in the text input so let's run one comma two comma three let's check in our variable one two three good now how to get the value from the uh, the array we will return few values like the first value so the first value in our case it is one so I'll put a label here let's put it here so this first so the first element of the array is one so if I run this actually it's already in place if I change instead of one if I put let's say five so the first element is five similarly there is function for last instead of first the function is last and the last element is 3 So if I make this as 6, 
run it again so 5 is the first element 6 is the last element so after this so we got the last element suppose we want to return two rows I want to return two rows so the code for that is let's put another button so this will to return two rows it will bring the result in array two rows so first n is the function this is the array we have already split the array here so we must first split the array then run this code to extract the first two values and assign them in this variable a r r two rows so let's run it we run this first then run this so a r r two rows must bring five and two let's check five and two why because we are returning two values from this if you want to return three values we must put three here <coughs> so we put three here we run this we put seven here we run this code so the last element is 7, first element is 5. Let's generate the first three element which is 5, 2 and 6. So run view variables 5, 2 and 6. So we got three first three values. Suppose we want to get the third element or in this case in the code I have here. I have this code here two rows and I want to get the second element so first I would run and get the two rows out of it so this will bring two rows and then this code will return the last element out of the two rows which is the second element so I repeat this function will return two rows in our case let's say if our input is uh, 3 2 6 7 3 2 6 7 if our input is this so this part of the code will return 3 comma 2 and then last element of this is 2 so if this is the code if this is the input if this is the input to get the second element we need to run this code first we will get the first two elements so let's run this code first two rows and then we'll put a label we'll put a label here oh that's too big and this label will display the last element from the two rows returned so I run this here let's run 5 2 6 7 I run this second so this returns the second element as I have shown here result will be 2 ok so first n so instead of running two lines of code i'll combine both of them together into one code both of the two lines combine so this instead of getting the last uh, element from this row instead of combining them into two 
we will just put both of them we we'll put the entire code here so first it will split and return the first two rows in this result this much will bring the first two rows and last of this will become and dot result will bring the second element so all of them combine together so we only need to split this here and on this button it will split and assign the value in this variable so the value 2 will be stored here so if i run this and make some changes here i put 9 here I run this 9 will come here we don't need to run this because it's already assigned to this label so the the second element so if i need to bring the third element or the fourth element i just run here i just run it here seventh is the fourth element so this code uh, is the code to bring the nth element so you can put 2 3 4 here so once again splitting the array separated by delimiter then split from the text input so after you split it it brings the array you get the first element of the array you get the last element of the array this will return the first n element of the array if specify 2 it will return two elements of the array to get the second element of the array you put first get this two rows and from that you get last and dot result will bring the second element these two combined together is in this format first n up to here it will bring the two rows in the array and then this last from those two rows in the result will bring the second element of the original array which is this that's it about split